All right, what's going on YouTube? So today we're gonna be hitting a chest workout and I'm also gonna be showing you guys kind of like what I get from both Costco and TNT um, to try and like lean out for the summer. Actually, it's just me TNT, uh, my favorite Asian supermarket, if you don't know what TNT is. Um, but essentially, it's just gonna be kind of, yeah, it's gonna be a workout video, kind of show you guys what I've been like buying from TNT. Um, super cheap and easy. Honestly, TNT is like my home. I love that place so much, uh, especially like going right after the gym, it's great. Um, but it's currently like seven in the morning. Uh, and I'm not gonna pick up this video until later after I'm done working. By the way, if you wanna see what it's like to work from home at a big four company, check my last video. Um, but anyway, I'm not gonna pick it up until after work. Um, but right now, since it's early and I have time, I'm gonna make my way over to Safeway, which is literally like a five minute, not even like two minute drive. Um, and we're gonna pick up the ultimate pre-workout meal, which I have like every day before um, I go to the gym. I just need to replenish it because I don't have any more. Um, but I'll show you what that is in a minute. So that's the plan for today. Um, let's go. Blood, I need to get hair cut. The best like pre-workout meal I was talking about is Vector. And the only reason I say that um, is because I think it's good to eat some carbs right before you go to the gym. I I think that like um, sometimes I feel like I, I don't have enough energy to push in the gym. Um, but when I started like eating carbs right before, like a good amount of carbs, um, I feel like I can push a lot harder, a lot more, just have a lot more energy. Um, and Vector is good only because it has it has the carbs, but it also has like a good chunk of protein. So you're kind of getting you know best of both worlds there. Um, so yeah, Vector. That's what I've been eating. But uh, let me know what your guys' like favorite pre-workout meal is. You know, when I was at university and I was kind of meal prepping and stuff, I would just eat rice and chicken like right before, like an hour before, um, and that did the trick too. Um, so I think as long as you're getting in your carbs, um, you're good. So it's not that big of a deal, but anyway, this is super easy. Um, I'm gonna just go work on actual work. I'm gonna just uh, do my other video. Um, and I'll see you guys in about two seconds. I already had my pre-workout uh, meal, so you should be good to go. I try and eat it around, I wanna say half an hour to an hour before I leave to go to the gym. Uh, so it gives me time to kind of digest and get the, uh, yeah, just get, get that energy. So what we will see what I can bench today. I'll probably either go for like 225 for like five or, or 245 for three or we'll see what I get up to. But it kind of depends on the day. You know, some days you're just like, oh, I'm going to hit this and then you fail miserably. And other days you're like, today's going to be shit. And then you hit your max. So I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the gym. I made the really dumb mistake of forgetting to drink my pre-workout when I was driving over here. So we're gonna do that right now. Mm. It's gorilla mode. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Oh, it's so good. I got the watermelon flavor. It's actually, mm. it's not bad. Except it's expensive. I ordered from the US and I ordered during like this Black Friday period or whatever. And I think it was like 200 bucks, like Canadian or something. Cause I, or maybe it was like a hundred, <clears throat> I don't know. It was expensive. It was just like, mm, I gotta pay for like duties because I live in Canada and it's come to the States and oh man, it's such a hassle. I would say if you're not going to drink, like, I don't know what pre-work I use, but if I'm not drinking, um, this, I'm drinking like batch 27 and that is good. So, mm. If you're from Canada and you want to order something that's not Gorilla Mine, why well not? Batch 27 does the trick. Mmm. All right, this is done. Let's go hit the chest.
my god, the workout is finished. I'm dying. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do two things here. One, I just want to talk about the workout itself and like how my plans and why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. And two, talk about groceries and where I'm headed next. So first things first, with the workout, I'm trying to lose weight, um, but kind of retain my muscles. So I'm really just looking for more definition, just really leaning out. Um, and so my what I'm doing right now is I'm focusing on a rep range between five to 12, but I'm kind of like in the, I'm trying to stick to like eight, so like the middle ground, um, and like have like eight be my failure. Um, but on some stuff, when I'm warming up, I might go like, you know, 15 or 16 or whatever, just, it really depends. But for the main part, I focus on like eight reps um, per, per set, I try. So there's that, so that's kind of what I'm doing uh, to maintain like the muscle, the strength, um, and still like, yeah, I guess, keep the strength. Second thing is that I end all my workouts by burning 100 calories. Um, I love the bike because it's so much faster, I think, than like the treadmill. I hate running. Um, and the bike is just so easy and you can just really push. I mean, obviously, you cramp up like an MF, but um, it's still super good um, and it's super quick. So I love the bike. Um, and then I guess last thing is that I've been like reducing my calorie um, intake uh, specifically kind of in the mornings that I like, don't even eat as much um, anymore. So I'm not really tracking anything, but I'm just eating less and I think it's working. I mean, my arm is all I'll post it, but you'll see my, my veins are starting to pop out um, in the mirror, which is super cool. It's kind of gross though, but whatever. Anyway, so now we're gonna go to TNT. It's my favorite Asian supermarket. I kind of get my groceries uh, for work uh, and lunch and whatnot from TNT because not only is it super cheap, but it's just good, okay? I don't want no rotisserie chicken. I want some freaking chasu barbecue pork. I think chasu is barbecue. But I don't even know. Anyway, we're gonna head to TNT, so let's go. putting you on this shit this is bro this was 315 total including tax are you dude this is congee this is like better than anything you're gonna get at costco and i bought like barbecue pork like sausages and shit so tomorrow for lunch i'm gonna throw this shit up together mix it up real nice it's gonna be fucking delicious anyway um so we're done with the workout i've got my stuff from tnt i just want to say like normally i'd buy more but um because I bought some stuff yesterday, I'm only getting the kanji. And also, go like later at night because for some reason everything's like 30% off at the end of the night. So this is normally like six, yeah, five bucks, and it's only was three bucks um, because because it was like because I went at seven or eight, whatever time it is. So that's amazing. I'm loving life, working my internship, doing this. Well, life's good. What can I say? Um, anyway, I'm gonna go home. Then I'm gonna eat my protein shake. Then I'll probably film a little bit more, just to kind of talk a little bit more about the workouts and whatnot. Eat dinner, and then I'm gonna go to sleep, and then I'll do it again tomorrow. So I'll see you soon. All right, I am basically. Let me put away my notebooks real quickly. Basically done for the night in terms of uh, filming. And now I gotta edit. But as you can see, this is what my dinner is looking like. I have some pasta thing you know what i don't really control what i eat when i'm at home because i'm back for summer and i ain't spending money because uh, i'm still living with my parents I'm like i'm 19 so whatever um and like i'm not spending money to pay for groceries if i'm just getting free food because i'm saving so i can go to singapore in january uh, because i'm going on exchange for five months so i'm gonna that's also another reason why i'm filming i cannot wait for that shit this is uh, i'm going i'm gonna go on a tangent right now for like 10 seconds but like this shit's gonna be wild. It's gonna be exchanged for five months. I'm going to NUS. I've been watching so many videos about like people on their exchanges. It's been crazy. Which is why I'm filming now because I need to develop a base so I have someone to show when I go to Singapore. Anyway, uh, food. I got a little like Asian pear from TNT um, yesterday, and then I got my protein shake. I do two a day, um, and that's kind of just like to ensure that I'm getting my like the protein I need every day. 
Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to eat this. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Um, maybe like try, you know, that, like the chest stuff. Definitely, um, another thing I forgot to add is that on my bench, if this has been helping a lot, my working set, let's say is like 225 for like five to eight. When I drop down, um, so I do like uh, two warm up sets, it's so like, or like bar 135, 185. Then I do my three working sets of 225. Then I drop it back to 185 and go as many as possible and then drop it to 135 as many as possible. And I'm really just like making sure to feel the contraction in my chest the whole time. And it just, it works wonderful. Anyway, that's enough about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your day. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, and I'll see you later.